Hello everyone, my name is Alicia Walton and I'm your instructor this semester. Welcome to English 104 or Technical Communication. Today I'm going to be going over how to use our course Blackboard page. You'll notice in this video today that all of the buttons right here under assignment are available and they're not in your view. And that's because I release the assignments as we go through the semester. Sometimes students will try to work ahead, and I've found that that strategy doesn't work too well in this class, so I slowly release these as we go along. All right, so this is the front page, and our front page contains announcements. And most of the time, these announcements, the announcements excuse me, will send out emails. So this first message right here was the very first message that I sent to you regarding the textbooks requirements for our course. This next message here is the second one. So these contain all of the emails that you'll receive from me. And you'll be able to look back through at any point that you need to. Next up, we have the syllabus and schedule. The syllabus is subject to change, but it's pretty much going to stay the same throughout the semester. You click here, it opens up, you can walk through it. Uh, for the most part, this is par for the course. There's nothing too unusual about this syllabus. Um, the only thing that might be a little different for you is that my office hours are virtual, so I don't keep uh, a physical office this semester, so I will not be on campus unless um, we specifically make an arrangement or if you need to meet me on campus for some reason and we make an arrangement to do so then I will be there of course but otherwise I'm not going to be on campus this semester I'll be keeping up with you virtually so if we schedule an appointment and you need to talk to me about a paper or you have a question uh, about a concept or a topic we'll make an appointment and then we'll talk either on the phone or we'll talk on the phone and have a WebEx. A WebEx will allow us to share screens like I'm sharing with you right now so that I can see what's going on in your paper or so that you can also see what's going on in my writing as well. So this course is an advanced writing course. You've already taken your basic writing course and now you've moved on to technical communication. So it's expected that you have a general understanding of how to use grammar and punctuation. And I don't spend much time going over that here within this class. Sometimes I will include a video within our lectures about comma splices or something like that if uh, I think it will be helpful to the class as a refresher. But I don't spend tons of time going over that because it's expected that you've already done that. So if you tend to have a lot of difficulties with grammar, spelling, punctuation, things of that nature, you might need to make some time with the uh, tutoring center and through the writing center. Excuse me, so tutors through the writing center, sorry about that. And that would require you to meet them on campus. Again, summer's not very busy, so you would be able to find a parking space and go in and out as you needed to. But I highly encourage you to use tutors if that's something that you have difficulty with. Because for the most part, when I'm grading your paper, I'm looking for high-level uh, issues and concepts that I'll discuss with you. Um, as we go Throughout the course, though, uh, e with each paper you turn in, I grade for grammar, spelling, and punctuation at an increasingly difficult level. So when you turn in your first paper, I'll mark things, but I'm not going to 
go through and mark every single grammar, spelling, punctuation error that you miss. But I'll become more difficult on you <laughs> as the semester goes on. And that's just because it's technical communications. And one of the things you're expected to do in technical communications is have clear and concise writing. So this is just a general overview throughout the uh, syllabus. This is the grading point schedule. There you have it. All right. So you also have a schedule here. The schedule is a very important piece of this course. Become very familiar, familiar with this schedule. Print this out. You don't necessarily have to print out the syllabus. You can just keep that somewhere or come back and look at it as you need to. But the schedule, you need to print that out. And you don't have to focus so much on printing the whole thing out right away. I would at least print this out a few weeks in advance. This is subject to change also. And there is a good chance this will change as we work throughout the semester. For example, I might need to bump assign assignments around, make them later, depending on what we're doing. So for, for the purpose of the beginning of the course, I've all just given you the first five weeks. So you can go ahead and print this whole thing out. If it had been a 15 week, you wouldn't want to do that. But for the five week, you can go ahead and print this out. This is what you're going to be doing. So I label it by, and really it's day and week. Uh, so I label it week one, and our weeks in this course go from Monday to Sunday. Now, if you don't like to work on Sundays or Saturdays because they're religious days for you, or because they're family days, etc., uh, or if Wednesdays are a day that is a religious day or a family day for you, that's fine. I don't require you to work on those days. Just make sure you turn it in before then if you have a due date that's on one of those days. So, for instance, um, I try not to work too much on Sundays myself. I try to give myself at least one day off. And if I have a due date that's on Sunday, which the response for this discussion board post is on a Sunday, then I would just make sure that I have that done the day before. You can always do that. There's flexibility there. But there's no flexibility pushing it out. So work accordingly with that. I like to make it Monday through Sunday because I think it gives you more flexibility and more time. And I like to give you as much of that as I can because this is a lot of information to cover in one semester. So for the assigned readings each week, I'll have them listed here. If um, So we have two textbooks. We have the Lannan and Gurick Technical Communications textbook, and we have the Cengage Handbook. The Cengage Handbook is the book that you received when you were working in English 101 or 100. It's that same book. So if you hung on to that, that's great. Use it. If not, you may need to buy that used because we do still use it. If I refer to the Cengage handbook, I go ahead and actually mention that. Otherwise, this is the Gurick and Lannan, or Lannan and Gurick, excuse me, technical communications book. And so that's your reading for the week, for the 7th through the 13th. Your course work. <clears throat> and this is also posted on uh, on our on our Blackboard page too. But this is just another way for me to list it out so that you can see it. I I like to try to make everything as crystal clear as possible. So your coursework, and that just means what's due in this amount of time. So this is what's due, or this is what you'll be working on. And then in the due column. 
This tells you what the due dates are for each of these. Now notice, this lists due dates, but you don't have anything specifically due on the first week. You have May 9th, May 13th. Let me take that back. You do have something due on the first week, don't you? Aha! How did I find that out? I looked in the due column, right? So, it's May 7th, May 9th. You have something due on Wednesday. What do you have due? An intro, discussion, board, post. So what is that? How do I find out what this is? Alright, let me show you. You're going to go over back to the menu over here. And you're going to go to weekly work. The weekly work tab is where you're going to find your work for each week laid out more in a web page format. So here you'll see multiple weeks. In your folder you're just going to see these as they become available. So you'll see the due date. They become, I make them available on Sunday night. So bright and early Monday morning. So if you open this up for week one and for some reason my module overview icon isn't showing up, but let's not worry about that. This tells you what you need to complete. So I know I have something due on the 7th, and I know I have something due on the 9th. So wait, what do I have due? I need to figure that out. What's going on? I'm confused. Is it the 7th? Wait, no, today's the 7th. It's Monday, right? So what do I have due? Let's look through here. I'm supposed to purchase, rent, borrow my textbook. I'm supposed to complete the discussion board, introduction, post, and response. Located under discussion board, I make my introduction by Wednesday, May 9th. That's what I'm supposed to do. By midnight. So you have until midnight by Wednesday, May 9th. And then you reply to three of your classmates by Sunday, May 13th at midnight. And again, if for some reason you don't want to wait till Sunday, you want to do it on Friday, do it on Friday. That's fine. But make sure you follow the instructions and respond to three of your classmates. Now how do I find the discussion board? Well, let's click here. That's highlighted in blue. There we go. This is the discussion board. So here are the instructions for the discussion board is also located over here, right under weekly work. Everything's located over here on the left. So I'm going to introduce myself. All right. Now this will become available to you on Monday. When you go into it, you'll be able to, let me see if I can right now. You'll have to, so I saw my instructions and then you'll create a thread. Intro la, 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 la. And there we go. There's my post, and that's how you post. I'm gonna delete that. It doesn't work for me. And sometimes what I like to do is I don't like how I just get like a blank space there, so I'll copy this. And then I'll click on it. And then I'll create the thread and I might forget what it is or oh wait, it actually showed up this time. So usually it shows up up here and it gives you the instructions. And then I can fill everything out here. And I hit submit. Bring it off again. Alright, so back to weekly work. That's what I'm supposed to do by Wednesday, the 9th. So I do have work due this week. So the first thing you should do when you're looking at that schedule is figure out what do I have due this week? What's due right now? What's due in the future? Typically when I'm making the schedule I try to put whatever's due the soonest up here at the top. And then I go down from there. 
So I know I'm, I'm logging into Blackboard. I've done my introduction discussion board. I've posted my introduction. I have to respond at midnight. So that'll give people time to post, and then I can respond to their posts. Then I have a journal entry. So journal entry number one. And journal entry pickup number one. That means I'm going to be grading entries one through seven and that they're going to be due by June 10th at midnight. So I'm basically I'm just grading these journal entries in groups. All right. And it gives you a chance, say, for instance, you might miss a couple. It gives you a chance to catch up. Uh, it also gives me a chance to just grade them in groups. It's, it's a little bit easier sometimes. I will warn you of this. Don't skip journal entries thinking it's easier to make them up. It's far easier to do the journal entries as you go along. And it actually helps you understand the material better. The journals over here. Sometimes you have to scroll up to be able to see. So you have the weekly work, the discussion board, the journal. There's the journal here. Journal entry number one. Again, you see three of them here because those are the ones that I've programmed in. But journal entry number one is the one that you'll be responding to, and you'll only see that one. You'll start to see the other ones as they're assigned. All right. So you know where everything's located. You know the schedule, how to get to it. You know where the syllabus is, the assignments. When you're given an assignment, Here's the assignment section. Now, don't become too married to the idea of how this is laid out because I might change some of this. The introduction email, however, that is going to be what you're going to be working on first. So when you work on an assignment, you'll be able to click introduction email, for instance. When you click that folder, it'll take you into everything that has to do with the introduction email. There's the assignment sheet, here's an example, here's the rubric, and the rubric is just a grading sheet so you can see exactly how I grade. And then here's the safe assign link. Safe assign link is where you post the final draft of your assignment so that I can grade it. Down here we have homework assignments. I really don't see myself assigning those to you this semester. So I think we're going to be focusing more on journal entries for this course. Underneath that, there are some helpful links that you can use um, on the rhetorical triangle, audience and instruction, document and design, etc. And I'll assign out the videos that are in there for you to look at as we go through the semester. Also, here's a link for the Writing Center if you'd like to look at that as well. And there you have it. So again, welcome to English 104. I am glad to have you in the course, and I look forward to working with you this semester.